was just shoveling some dirt and came across this guy. I want to show it to you. He's digging down already, but they like to be in the soil. He doesn't want to be uncovered. I'll show you just for a minute. Look at this huge grub. Oh, get the dirt off. Look at this huge grub. So if, um, let's see, let me get a look at his head. I think these are the grubs that grow up to be rhinoceros beetles, if I'm right. I'll look into it. Anyway, cool find in the soil. If you ever see one of these when you're digging, just know that they're completely harmless. You don't need to kill them. They're, uh, they're, uh, they love the soil and we just put them back in the soil and let them do their thing. And grow up to be the big beetles they'll be. All right, that's it. Okay, friends. So a while back, I found a big grub or larva in the soil while I was digging. And I suspected it was a rhinoceros beetle larva, but I wasn't sure. So I turned to my Texas bug book to learn more. Sure enough, I learned that it was a rhinoceros beetle larva. You can see them in these pictures here. And because in my house we love nature and we uh, like to collect things, we just happened to have a rhinoceros beetle in a jar. And so I wanted to show it to you. There it is. That's what this larva, that big grub, will grow up to become a rhinoceros beetle. Sometimes they're also called a unicorn beetle. I'm sure you can guess why. They have one giant horn on their head, like that. And if you see one of these, either as an adult beetle like this or the big grub larva outside where you are, the good news is you can just leave it alone. They look fierce, but they are completely harmless. And the grubs, in fact, can be really beneficial to have in your compost, so I'd leave them be. Um, so another thing I wanted to share with you that I learned from reading about them in my book, some fun facts, like they aren't really sure. The scientists who wrote this book are not really sure what this, what this beetle eats because they've never even seen it feeding. They suspect it eats plants, but they're not sure. But even more interesting than that, I found out that these rhinoceros beetles just happen to be one of the world's strongest animals. There was a bug scientist, it says, that glued weights on the rhinoceros beetle's back and found it could carry up to 100 times its own weight. <laughs> and it did get tired, but when only 30 times its own weight was put on its back, it didn't even get tired. It could just go and go and walk that way for a half an hour. And it says this is comparable to a 50 year old human man walking with a Cadillac strapped on its back. A Cadillac is a kind of car. So a human carrying a car. Crazy stuff. Amazing rhinoceros beetle. Pretty cool. Thanks for joining me today at Discovery Hill. I hope to see you again soon. What will you find when you play outside?